Funding for Not a Vampire is provided by viewers like you. Find perks and bonus content at patreon.com slash not a vampire. Thank you. Casro recently put out a video about Maude Adams, the woman who originated the role of Peter Pan on stage in the US, and now I can't get the story out of my mind. I especially keep thinking about how Peter Pan totally has queer metaphors that I never noticed before. But in a way, I guess I've always seen my own interpretations of them. For me, Peter Pan has always been a story about someone being unable to choose and thus rejecting the conventional path and how that conflicts with those around him. Peter can't grow up. In order to do that, he would have to fundamentally change. He would have to give up his unwavering youth that everyone finds so charming and that he values above even those closest to him like Wendy. He would have to stop being himself entirely to be what's considered normal. The film Hook explores the scenario in which Peter does attempt normalcy, and in it we see how changed he has to be to achieve it and how it ruins his relationship with everything he loves. He can't be whimsical, creative, and dismisses everything childlike as though only concerns labeled adult matter. Basically, he is everything Peter Pan is not. And though in the end he reunites with his inner child and also returns to our world, I'd argue that he still has to reject conventionality. In order to stay himself, he has to throw away his phone and thus the normal life he was leading before. We're led to believe that now Peter will reject those supposed necessary evils that conventional adults accept like soul-sucking but well-paying jobs, putting work first, or even caring about what the neighbors will think about climbing the drainpipe to get in. In the end, he still has to refuse normalcy in order to continue being himself. And I can see how queer analogies apply here too. In order for someone who's LGBT plus to be accepted in an overtly cis-heterosexual to the point of hostility world, they must change something fundamental to them. And because we can't just make that change, we are forced to stray from the expected path. In Maud's time, it was things like platonic but close friends, Boston marriages, playing the eccentric eternal bachelor, or traveling to a place where no one knew you nor had expectations of what gender you ought to perform. There's a necessary pretend to it all, not unlike Peter playing house with Wendy. Though he cares about her, their romance is not real and Peter cannot want what Wendy wants. It's a facade of normalcy that cannot be made real because the character Peter is playing is not real. He's not a father who wants romantic relations with Wendy and to work in an office for his family. He cannot want that while still being Peter Pan. I used to think of myself as Wendy. Among my siblings, I was the practical and studious one, the competent child who would be left in charge over the younger others. But today, I think I've transformed into Peter. I cannot want to follow the road expected for people my age. Jobs are what you do to get money to do the things you really want. They aren't a signifier of worth as a person or how valuable you are to the world at large. If I appear normal, it's by accident because I've committed entirely to dressing in what feels good to me, be that jeans and a t-shirt, long skirt and button-up blouse, or even a big hat. In fact, I was going to dress in a long skirt and big hat today, but I didn't feel like it, so I went with a hand-me-down coat and a t-shirt that I love. I've made it a point to only wear what feels good. I do not follow trends because I cannot care. I don't want to watch specific shows by virtue of them being popular alone. My time is limited, so I want to limit obligational activities as much as possible. Much of me still relates to my younger self, so I am eternally at odds with others my age who call youth cringe and see those younger as inherently worse in ways that have supposedly been stamped out of us because we're adults. Adult isn't an attribute or descriptor to me. Adult is whatever I do because I'm considered above the age of majority in the US and that's all it is including dressing in vaguely history-bounding outfits and making analysis videos of a show aimed at people 15 years younger than me. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. If you want to follow me on Macedon, here's that. This was actually supposed to be the spot for my Twitter handle, but my third-party Twitter app doesn't seem to be cooperating with Twitter, or more like Twitter won't cooperate with it anymore. So um, just consider me off of Twitter. Uh, I'm way more active on Tumblr, so check me out there.
And if you want to help me out on Patreon, patreon.com slash novvampire. Got a couple interesting perks there, or I think they're interesting at least. Thank you very much for tuning in, and until next time.